everyone welcome back to Khaleesi's tea so i just wanted to start off by apologizing sometimes um i know my videos sound like i'm moving things around i'm really not maybe the first couple of videos i was moving things around or hitting things because i was nervous so um i do record my voiceovers on my ipad i don't know with the spacing that's why you guys always hear ambulances um cars honking or you know you can hear my kids so um I do apologize eventually I will get some type of microphone or I might even use my husband's studio equipment when he used to record music I might even start using that um, to make the sound a little bit more clearer and less echoey that's probably not a word but I'm going to use it so less echoey and also today's video I am okay my um, iPad died so i'm re-recording again in today's video it's a very detailed nail prep um pushing back your cuticles getting rid of the dead skin filing down the nail if you guys have seen my previous nail haul from when i went to face values i got some sally hansen growth treatment and straight strengthener treatment as well as um yeah that was it that i got so i have been using it I haven't been really using it faithfully um but I have been putting cuticle oil on my nails at least two times a day. I tried to do it three times, but definitely in the morning after I wake up and then at night before I go to bed. So right after I brush my teeth, I'm putting cuticle oil on. And I have seen um, a, the difference in my nails. They have been growing. They have been growing as much as they have been breaking. So I know it's going to take some time. I know growing out your nails is not going to happen overnight. But I really am trying to keep my hands moisture. But for sure, I do the cuticle oil at least two times a day. And that has been helping. So in this video, it's very uh, detailed about the nail prep. You see everything um, I used from the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Kit. I used the prep, which is like the dehydrator. I used the builder gel, the flash care lamp, and of course the jelly tips. I used a primer, I guess. Or bonds the white the young the YN what is YN young nails protein bond that I got from Amazon I will have it linked down below I believe I paid $16 for it um I did that twice so I did the dehydrator I put the the bond on twice um these are my mother's day nails I really hope they last I will update you guys to let you know if anything if any of them popped off the last time I did my nails um with the jelly tip kit maybe months ago two days later one of my nails popped off so um hopefully i gotten better with my nail prep because i watched so much videos i, I was watching videos all weekend until like today i was watching how to do like dip powder um on full cover nails i was <laughs> just trying to get ideas i really wanted some new nails with purple accent but the dip powder wasn't working it was so bulky I do have footage of that. I do have footage of the gel polish. The gel polish was bulky. I don't know. Today was just an off day, I guess. Who knows? My mood kind of matches the weather. I feel like every other week when I do a video, it is gloomy and raining in New York. Today, it is gloomy and raining again in New York. And I was just trying to push myself against the weather. But yeah, if you guys do want to see the footage of when I did the dip powder and the gel polish no pressure no pressure <laughs> you guys can say no but if you guys want to see it i will um show it later on maybe next week's video or the following week or whatever so maybe i will show that um yeah i didn't do an unboxing of the kiara sky kit because i did one i believe in my third video i'll have a link down in the cards below where i actually show everything that came in the kit um i believe i spent 109 I can't remember, but I got 10% off. I had signed up for the email list. They give you 10% off. I don't know how quickly they usually package. When I ordered, it was an off week. They were off for the entire week for the new year. And then I got it. So um, if you guys usually order from Kiara Sky, let me know how long they take. I do want to order um, their dip powder system to get the recycling one. I do want to order from them. Um, so yeah let me know i just lost my train of thought so yeah if you order from kiara sky let me know what you think of their products i do think their products are or for like more professional like if you're 
a more advanced DIY. I'm still just starting out, so um, the jelly tip is like perfect for me. I wouldn't buy too much of their stuff, like their their nail drill, their nail lamp. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not there yet, but that's just me. So let me know what you guys think. Have you ordered Kiara Sky? What do you think? Do you think they are geared too professional as well as beginner DIY nails? So let me know in the comments what you think. So this week. If you guys didn't know, because I didn't know, yesterday was Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Well, happy May the 4th, happy belated May the 4th be with you. Um, today is Cinco de Mayo. If you celebrate Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo to you. If you are drinking or doing anything else, do it responsibly, but have fun and joy. And then Sunday is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to everyone that celebrates out there. I'm not going to go down the list because Mother's Day is not like, it's, it's, it's just, it's a beyond thing. There's so many people who are a mother figure or who has stepped in and rose to the occasion. So if if you know you a mama or you have that title, happy Mother's Day to you. So what'd you guys do this weekend? Because you know I'm going to ask. I'm nosy. This weekend was pretty good. I went and gave back to my grandma's church i did some volunteer work they had a pantry going on um so yeah i wanted to get i i always wanted to be in the community and help you know do stuff whether it's a book bag drive whether it's i don't know my cousin is trying to do a big sister big brother um program at the church that we basically grew up in she still goes i just visit occasionally so if she does get that going i definitely want to do something like that i've always wanted to do something like that before the pandemic i was planning to open up a dance school and not only was my dance school going to be strictly for dancing but i wanted to do classes about financing and um home ownership i wanted to do classes for high school students where they are taught about credit and um resumes and just things that i felt that i should have known before i left high school that i didn't i wanted to be able to have that to give to them um home ownership i just wanted my dance school to be like a community thing um so but the pandemic hit, hit and thank god i didn't take out that loan to pay for the building that i wanted because yeah i would have been mortified but everything happens for a reason um my cousin is doing some amazing things and trying to um get the community back together for what we knew as as children um there's a garden so she's doing things in the garden um i don't get to really help out as much as i want to so i do donate like the last thing she had was for easter where she did easter baskets i donated lip gloss from my daughter's lip gloss line and then i donated like fruit snacks and juice um so I actually did want to participate and be there to give out candy to the kids and play the games with them. But I didn't have a car, but hopefully in the future I will be able to go more and help her with that. Because I'm I'm all about giving back every season. I like my daughters don't wear like certain shoes or um, they're brand new, brand new clothes. I always give it away. Um, in fact, there's a lady that lives down the hall from me. She sends um, clothes back home to her country. So she's always like, yeah, anytime you have clothes, pass them out them my way because they can go to good use. So yeah, that's just me. I'm a very loving, caring, and I like to give back. So fun fact about Calicia. Um yeah so right here i'm just etching the inside of the nail tip and then i etched the outside so it could be kind of flush although it didn't look flush after i put the gel polish on so yeah i'm gonna stop talking because this video is already 23 minutes and then if i'd add to it it's just gonna be a lot so as always thank you guys for watching thank you for staying tuned in um i really appreciate you guys if you're drinking tonight, or if you're drinking any night, be responsible. Um, if you're going out, take a Uber, get yourself a cab. Don't drive while drinking, it's not cool. Don't do it. Don't risk your life and another person's life because that's two lives that's messed up. So yeah, happy single de Mayo to for the, ah, uh, whoa. Happy single de Mayo to everybody that celebrates. Uh, be good to you, be good to yourself. Be good to you, be good to yourself. Be good to you. Be good to yourselves. Be good to others. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.